Now we're going to pick up another lemma that we will require for the uh, real spectral theorem, um, namely that a self-adjoint operator has an eigenvalue. And we're going to prove this by leaning on the uh, relationship between polynomials of numbers and polynomials of operators. So basically, we're going to use the properties of polynomials just as polynomials, so for numbers, um, and their factors, factorizability properties in order to learn something about operators. So first off, note that this, this result is already shown uh, for complex vector spaces. Uh, so we can assume that we're working over the reals um, without loss of generality. Okay, so let's take uh, n to be the dimension of our vector space, and uh, we're going to pick some non-zero element of v because v is not the zero vector space. All right, so <clears throat> then if we look at v, t v, t squared v, and we keep applying uh, t to it, so we'll do n times where um, n here is uh, the dimension of v, then we have uh, a dependent list because it's just got too many things. Uh, we've got a zeroth, once, seconds, third, fourth, fifth, and nth term, so there's n plus one things in that list. Okay, so then that means that there exists some uh, scalars, I guess let's call them AK, and these are going to be real scalars because remember we're, we're working with the reals right now, um, such that if we have uh, A0V plus A1TV plus A2T squared V and so forth, then we can make that equal to zero because that's the definition of independence. All right, so now if we consider the corresponding polynomial that we've basically just generated here, so if we look at um, P of X, which is A0 plus A1X plus A2X plus up to A, N, oh, sorry, that was A2X squared, up to A N X to the N. Um, so here's some polynomial. Um, by the fundamental theorem of, of algebra, we can write this as C times some product of irreducible quadratic factors, so like x squared plus uh, b1x plus c1, and then, so we've got maybe a few quadratic factors, x2 plus b, uh, what are we gonna call it? mx plus cm. Uh, so we've got some irreducible quadratic factors, and then we'll have some uh, linear factors. Okay. And so in this, saying that those are irreducible quadratics, that means that each of the uh, b's squared is less than um, 4c. Otherwise, uh, it could be factored into a pair of linear factors. OK, so then um, if we look at, so pt applied to v is supposed to be equal to 0. That's how we cook this sucker up in the first place. Now, using the factorization we've got for this polynomial of operators that we got from looking at the factorization of polynomial of, of numbers, uh, let's see. So we're going to have uh, t squared b1 t c1 i 
multiplied out with and t squared plus b m t plus c m i and then we've got some um, linears so there's our linear terms okay uh, and then this whole thing this is p of t so it's supposed to be applied to v so there's my v at the end okay and so pt applied to v is equal to zero and so this um, implies that uh, some factor is not invertible, right? Because V is in the null space of this P of T. Um, and then we know that um, by our previous uh, lemma, we know that um, it's got to be one of these linear guys. Um, because we know that all the quadratics are invertible by the lemma. And so, by the way, this uh, right here is where we use the self-adjointness. If you were wondering, hey, I didn't see anything about the self adjointness popping up here, it's because we need that for um, 726 to do this this final step right here. That also, by the way, um, ensures that we have uh, some linear factors here because you might have thought like, hey, how do we know that there's any of those linear factors there? Well, if we didn't have linear factors, um, then we'd have all irreducible quadratics, which would all be invertible by theorem 726. Um, which would then be a contradiction. So there has to be one. All right, and that finishes off our little lemma.